Uh, this model kit review is of the DHC-6, the Twin Otter. It's a small little passenger plane, and it's a uh, model by Ravel, 172nd scale. There are the dimensions. And uh, we've got some nice pictures here of the completed model. And nothing really there. Uh, here we've got some details there about the plane. So, let's have a look inside at our sprues. Okay, so we've got a number of sprues here. First of all is our glass. Here's our windshield. It's a little warped. Uh, not quite even. And we've got our uh, passenger uh, glass here for the side. Here's the side glass for the cockpit. So here is our fuselage. And uh, we've got some nice detail here on our tail. The rest of these are raised lines. Looks like we have two nose options. There's the one nose option, there's the other. And we have some other parts here for uh, maybe for our engine cowls, for our uh, wheel cowls, or uh, maybe for the engines. We'll have a look and see. Here's a bulkhead. We've got some seats and then our uh, instrument panel there. Looks like some uh, supports or struts. No real detail there on the inside. Uh, here we have our wing, and uh, we've got our flaps and ailerons with some nice detail. There's the other one. Here's our engine pod with the cowls over here. Um, more details on the bottom edges there. Here are the uh, elevators. And uh, let's see here, this is the lower edge of the wing on each side. There's our um, the front of the engine cowl with the air intake. And that looks like that's our, uh, our cockpit there. Looks like we have option for floats or wheels. So floats have got some nice detail there. These are the uh, struts for the floats. And... Uh, here are our wheels. That's also probably part of the cockpit there. We've got uh, two propellers, one there and one there. And then uh, another bulkhead there for inside the fuselage. Let's have a look at our instructions here, as well as our decals. Wow, look at that. We've got a lot of decals. They're very nicely printed, very crisp and clean. Um, Got some nice details there for our instrument panel. Okay, here are some details about the plane. And uh, I guess the instructions here are the colors needed. And uh, as you can see, there's a, some that have to be mixed. We also have a parts listing there. And um, so here it tells you the, uh, I guess, four different versions, A, B, C, or D. Um, this has got uh, different noses here between A and B, but both with wheels. Then we've got a ski plane. We've also got a float plane. So we start off with the uh, cockpit here. And then all our glass goes inside the fuselage. Next, we put the fuselage together and then different noses. Don't forget to weigh down the um, nose so that you can get it to balance. You build our wings and the uh, engine cowls, our engine air intakes, propellers, spinners all going on there. And then uh, looks like the wings are mounted to the fuselage and we start to build our wheels and landing gear. Elevator goes on, some pitot tubes there. And then uh, wheels with the uh, struts, or you can do skis on top of the wheels, uh, or you can do floats. So I think I'm going to end up doing a uh, 
just regular wheels and that's mounting the floats here is the painting and decal guide so this is for the Canadian Armed Forces and um, there are the decals quite a lot of decals and those are the colors there and then um, there's the other version so um, some nice decals some detail uh, it'll be a fun build